What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with a special war recap video of the FPC War Clan versus the Kryptonians. Uh, you guys saw my live attack from it, so you sort of know what's going on. The Kryptonians are, uh, they're the uh, the Clash Files. You know, if you guys haven't heard of that podcast, a very good podcast. Go check it out. Uh, Talk Clash, have different guests on. I was a guest on it. They've had lots of good people on there. Uh, and it's just a good podcast week in, week out, so go check them out. And their whole, what they call the K-Fam, uh, their whole f clan family uh, put together a, a little clan here, 50 versus 50 war. Uh, the same thing happened with uh, the FPC, uh, you know, all different fair play clans out there sort of contributed some different people. And we had ourselves a nice little scrimmage, and it was epic, as you can see, 138 to 139. Came down to the wire uh, as expected, all Town Hall 9s on both sides were three-starred, and there was one Town Hall 10 difference uh, that made it right there. They got Plow on our side. Uh, the 9.5s, there was a couple 9.5s on each side, I think. They got three-starred, and then every all the Town Hall 9s get three-starred. And then on the other side, we just happened to get one more three-star right there. That one was a, uh, a Town Hall 11 coming down to get that Town Hall 10. And then right here on number 12, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10, three-star, and everything else was three-star. So awesome job to both sides. It was very, very fun war. A lot of high-level attacks. This is going to be a pretty long recap right here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do another one. I was going to do some on both sides, but as I was going through, I mean, a 50 versus 50, uh, to do that, to pick from those and, and try to get both sides in one video, just not going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and do another video with their attacks on their side. So... That being said, I probably will skip the Town Hall 11 bully attack and just go right to the one that made the difference, Dito, taking on their number 12, 12 Huffer, and doing it with a Govaho, uh, or excuse me, not a Govaho, a Goho uh, at Town Hall 10. Taking out one of the Infernal Towers. You see, this is a pretty early Town Hall 10 base. It does have level 2 Infernal Towers and some max air defenses, but besides that, uh, pretty much, you know, Town Hall 9 defenses. So with 40-40 heroes... Not that hard to get done. Well, I say that. It, it's still hard to get done. Uh, but if you do the right steps, it, it is very doable, which is what Dito does. Lightning uh, Quakes, one of the Infernal Towers. So takes that, takes care of that, and then just Queen walks in here and going to deal with both of the heroes and the CC troops on this next spot. So really, all he's wanting to do is get that Infernal Tower taken care of, get the CC troop taken care of, and get the, the heroes taken care of so he can start sending his hogs in and all that. Obviously, any type of giant bomb locations, Anything like that, it takes out right here. The one giant bomb going off is a bonus and is uh, very, very good for him with his hogs. Uh, Queen gets engaged, uses the ability right there. Go ahead and drops the poison. Or excuse me, the poison. Yeah, the poison for the CC troops and the rage for his healers. A little bit, cutting it a little close on that rage for the healer and the, and the queen, but got it done. Has used her ability already, so it gets her filled back up. Deals with that CC uh, lava hound. It explodes, takes out all the pups, and then just continues on her walk, uh, doing what she can, taking out defenses as she goes. But now he can start in with his golems and his king attack here. He wants to try to clear a way for his hogs to get to that Inferno Tower as quickly as possible. That's the whole thing, is getting that second Inferno Tower taken care of. Because if he does, with 40-40 heroes, and now his queen being up with uh, healers on her, pretty much this base is, is in trouble. You know, it's, it's just a matter of getting that done. So he's trying to get all these defenses out that are around it for when he sends his hogs in a moment. They're going to go straight to that Infernal Tower. Uh, you see right here, already sending the hogs in at that angle. I uh, want them to go in. They're going to go to that air defense. They do split off. A few of them split off. Not a lot, though. Uh, they're already being targeted by the uh, Infernal Tower, but it's just a level two, and there's just an, enough of them in there. They get near that giant bomb goes off. I thought he was toast right there, but a few more swings, and he just has enough hogs to get that taken care of. Uh, you see the hogs falling off right there. And from there, it's pretty much up to the queen and the wizards and the uh, golems to do the tanking and that king taking out the town hall. You know, it's just a, there's nothing really left defensive targeting wise here. It's just working through the base and getting it done. We'll actually fast forward, but you see some of these defenses not leveled up. That archer tower is pretty low. It uh, does have that max Tesla, um, but you know, with it, again, with that queen having the healers on her and just being able to walk forward and the golems doing some tanking, just too much for this base. Gets the three star beautiful attack uh, and doing, you know, getting to see one without uh, Gola Loon is pretty fun to Town Hall 10 because it's usually what we see. So nice job to Dito. All right, moving on to Town Hall 9 action. Uh, number 16, Fatty taking it out. And I really like this attack. You see the dragons here. I thought when I saw it, okay, he's going to try to do a suicide dragon, but it turns out that's not really what he had in mind. So pretty interesting attack here. Uh, coming with the queen, I think, up top. Yeah, the queen right there. Uh, a couple of wizards that, that create the funnel, push her the direction he wants her to go, which is south. She's going to start working her way around the base. Uh, and look at the dragon. Yeah, dragons go down, and really all he's using the dragon sphere for is to clear all this stuff out of the way. Nothing's really targeting that, mu that much. 
Um, they're just going to go left and right here and start taking it out, and then he's going to have his jump spell available with his golem and king to go in there and get that queen taken care of. I guess he thought the queen was just too far recessed back to get that with a with a suicide dragon. He might be right. So uh, let those dragons do their thing, start working uh, both directions, taking all that out. Uh, the queen's doing her thing coming around. She is hung up on the town hall for a little bit, but she'll get that taken care of and continue her walk. Uh, here in just a moment, I think we'll see the jump spell come down and uh, the uh, golem start to come in. And then right here, yeah, the golem's coming in. Uh, he's just letting them come forward, start doing the tanking uh, right there. And then here comes the jump spell in the king, uh, which is going to let them go right into that queen's area, take her out, and a lot of those defenses along with it. The uh, queen on the right side of her still doing her thing, still being uh, tanked or being healed by the uh, by the ex uh, the <laughs> sorry guys by the healers. The expo's locked onto her, but no big deal there. Right there's the king's ability. He runs in, takes the queen out. The CC troops start to come out here. Uh, they're going to be beating on him for a little bit, taking some damage there. You see that one golem did not take the jump. Uh, he's just over there doing his thing. He's still tanking, though, for that expo, which is nice because the troops just go right in, take it out. The queen's going to beat through this wall and go in right there, but look at what's left here. All he's got left is this, basically this Tesla farm. That's the only real threat uh, left on this base. You see this golem coming around, still doing some tanking. The dragon is still a threat, I would say, uh, but that poison spell is going to take care of that in just a second right there it goes down here come the hogs coming in and you want to know you know we talk about this a lot about these tesla farms and how they can be effective against hogs and stuff like that but here's the anti tesla farm uh this comp right here drop that uh, heal spell in that rage look how quickly these uh, hogs under rage and he'll take care of this little tesla farm here boom it's gone it's over uh king's chasing them but no big deal all that's just taking one swipe it's done uh, the queen's still up she's gonna go through another wall the king's still up we'll fast forward here because he drops that last heal spell down uh, and just those last few defenses, dealing with the king, dealing with the skeletons. But too little, too late. Beautiful attack by Fatty. Absolutely taking that base out. Uh, just making it look, look, look easy. Nice job, Fatty. All right. Moving along, because we got a lot to look at. Uh, let's look a couple down at uh, Advised Walrus. Taking on their number 18 and doing it with a Queen Walk. Five, uh, five healers on this one. Uh, the queen going down. Let's see, where did he drop the queen on this one? Sorry, I've watched like 100 attacks today, so hard to keep up with all of them. I'll remember when I see it. Uh, dropping that wizard, getting some value for that wizard, just a free funnel creation, basically. There it is, yep. Cutting that off, making sure that the queen's going to go up top where he wants her to go. Uh, queen goes down, he just get on her, and she begins her march heading north, which is perfect. Uh, sends a giant in and a few uh, wizards to break that spot, and then wall breakers to let her in. Uh, she's not going. It's not. This is not a queen walk. This is actually a queen charge type attack. Uh, she's going to go right up the middle. But I like that because look what she's going to get. She's getting several uh, suspected or possible double giant bomb positions. Plus, she's going to go in here and get both of the healer or both of the heroes on the uh, defense part. So just walking right up the middle. Uh, again, five healers probably. Uh, might could have got by with four, but when you're going to deal with all those healers, the CC troops, all that stuff, probably better safe than sorry. So drops the poison down. Uh, you see the P.E.K.K.A. does come out of the CC. Uh, when you see a P.E.K.K.A., you pretty much have to use the ability. You can't get it down in time, and just a few swipes, it'll take your, uh, your queen out, even with healers on there. So that pretty much forces his hand on um, using the, the ability. Uh, but the Tesla's pop. The king comes in, takes out the defending queen. Uh, his queen's continuing on, and then already, here come the hogs. Uh, just sending them in. You see a giant bomb going off there. That's good. Hogs coming from the bottom. He's got three heals for him and got a lot of hogs. I like these few hogs on the side here. They're going to go in and get that Tesla, and there's a couple of Teslas there. Uh, they're going to work their way through and grab all of that. Heals on the bottom hogs, being very patient. Still six hogs in the bag and still has the CC troops. Uh, so being very patient on deployment here, letting that kill squad, letting that king, queen do their thing, really work through the base. Uh, nice early cleanup wizard there like that. I'm going to drop another heal spell, I believe, right there, yep, on that Tesla and air defense, which is smart. Still the six hogs in the bag. He did drop his CC hogs there to reinforce. And then right here, the last few hogs coming in uh, as he sees his queen's up top there. She's uh, tanking for that archer tower and probably will take out that archer tower. A couple of minions on that cannon up top. That's smart. Uh, just a beautiful, smart, patient attack. Uh, just picking this base apart, doing it very methodically. Still has the three hogs in the bag here. Does not even have to deploy them to get the three star. Uh, obviously going to put him on that cannon there and just finish it off, uh, but that base was done very, very nicely. Again, hogs at the bottom, hogs on the top, wizards running around, the queen's still up, getting the easy three-star. Nice attack by Advised Walrus. We'll fast forward, let this finish out as they have to beat through the walls to get to a few things. 
But finally, the hogs gather up on that storage. Boom. All righty, all righty. Uh, let's look at our boy Cotton Eye Joe. I think he had a six-star war in this particular uh, scrimmage. And doing a really nice attack here. Uh, queen walk, go ho again. But like what he did here, drops that minion down, drops the queen down. They had a lot of bases like this to where the, uh, the king and queen were sort of together, off from away from air defenses and I'm sure away from all the giant bombs and all those things. And I like the way that some of our guys dealt with it. They just queen walked that section, took out both heroes. A lot of times the CC was right there. So if you can queen walk both heroes, the CC, and there's all the defenses that go along with that, pretty good value in my opinion. So uh, that's exactly what Cotton Eye Joe does, just walks up the queen, takes that area out, and then comes in from the bottom with the rest of his troops, his golems, his king, all of that good stuff. So we'll watch the queen do her part. She's going in up top here. I think he's going to wall break her in for her. I think he does. Maybe he just lets her shoot over the wall and all this stuff. But it seems like she gets in that compartment. Uh, she might shoot through it, actually, here in a moment. Uh, but drops that poison. I thought that was interesting with both heroes right there. Probably a pretty good use of poison just to slow down their damage that's coming to, uh, towards him. He does have the rage for his for his he, uh, healers and his queen. But still, uh, sometimes that damage gets you know kind of hefty. So right there, she'd take out the, that Archer Tower, and then she is, I think, going to shoot through this wall here in a minute. Uh, down at the bottom here, he's coming from the right side with his golems. A wall breaker's in there, has the wizards to back everything up, creating that funnel. And from there, he's going to send his king in. Uh, there is a little, excuse me, a few witches out of the CC troops as well. There is a little bit of a Tesla a group right there, two Teslas. So they're going to come in and take, that, care, take care of that. And there is a Lava Hound in the CC, but he's got his queen away from that, so no big deal. The wizards and the witches are going to explode that Lava Hound. Uh, but at least his queen's doing something else. So right there, a double bomb set you see getting triggered, working his way through. A few hogs just for these distracted defenses, which is always nice. High value there. Uh, right here, the lava hound's about to explode. You see the queen's up there just dealing with all that high HP storage stuff. Nothing too interesting going on there. There's the lava hound exploding. He still has the 12 hogs in the bag, uh, letting those golems stay out front, do the tanking, which is wizards taking care of those pups that are left. And then right here, once all that stuff locks onto his little kill squad there, more hogs going in, uh, more Tesla's going to get taken out. But look at that. No need for a heal because nothing is attacking his hogs, which is beautiful, absolutely brilliant. And now they're starting to get focused on, uh, drops that heal spell down. He's got one more left. He's going to let them work his way through. He's got four more hogs he can deploy here. Right there they go. Uh, two and I think two more on the backside uh, and drops this last heal. As soon as he gets over here, where he knows he's going to need it, right there. Beautiful place. You see that those few hogs standing just inside of it for the expo. Uh, the queen is starting to work her way through, but the last few defenses are going down with that giant bomb triggering. No big deal. That's a three-star. Excellent attack by our boy Cotton Eye Joe. All right, fast forward through that one and keep this train rolling. I'm going to show a lot of these top ones, and I'm going to drop down and show you guys some lower ones too. Uh, Braca. Int, Inte, I, I don't know how you would say that. Braca, Int, Inte, Inti, I don't know. Anyways, doing a really nice dragon, zap quick dragon attack here. I like this one. These are always just fun to watch. Uh, so it was interesting to see this one go down. Drops a wizard there to create the funnel, uh, push his queen the way he wants her to go. And clearly what he wants to do here is get that queen in, take out those two air defenses that are right there handy for her. But also as a bonus here, he's getting both of the air sweepers, which can be a pain for dragons. So that's nice. Uh, Zap Quake, the bottom eight, AD there. She's going to continue to move in, and also he's going to get the CC troops as uh, they come out of the, the clan castle there. So really high value for that queen walk. Not a very long walk, uh, but, but huge value on that one. So she's going to move her way in in just a moment, start targeting the sweepers and air defenses, and then as she takes another step in, I think that right there, the Lava Hound is going to come out. Uh, so she's going to have to deal with that. Only one point defense on her, though, so no big deal. Uh, right there, luckily gets that air defense taken care of before she locks onto the Lava Hound because it was in range of those uh, healers just for a moment. Got like one shot off. Uh, but that's going to be taken care of, and clearly she's going to get that uh, third air defense and that second sweeper taken care of. The king and some dragons go down at the top, just letting them work their way in. He wants to get in and get that queen taken care of with those uh, massive dragons. He does have, um, let's see, what's he got in the, in the CC here? I can't remember. Drops a rage for him. They come in. Queen's engaged right here. Uh, they're going to lock onto her in just a second. Boom. She goes down. Yeah, Lava Hound in the CC for this last uh, this last air defense. Lava Hound and Balloons in a rage. He just sort of swarms it, funnels his balloons into it very nicely. Uh, Lava Hound's doing the tanking. It's going to go down pretty quick, but still, with that rage and those balloons, they're on the uh, they're on the air defense before it can really start taking them out too quickly. The Dragon's working their way in from the top. The Queen's still coming around the bottom, doing her thing. 
At this point, it's pretty slow, but as you can see, it's going to be uh, all over for this base. The dragons do sort of peter out here because there's so much high HP in there, and even though there's no air defenses left, they start getting you know picked off one by one. Uh, but as they do, uh, they pretty much have all the defenses taken care of. Plus, with the queen continuing around, taking out defenses, there's only a few left, and that's up top there. Uh, they're going to get sort of hung up on this king, chasing him around, and then the town hall, and that is that. But still have a level 30 queen with a healer on her. Uh, that is going to be a three-star. Excellent, excellent dragon attack there. Speaking of dragon attacks, you know it wouldn't be complete without our boy Cheatham uh, doing a zap quake, which is he is known for. Uh, this time, not with dragons, but a Golaloon. Uh, zap quake in that air defense right there in the middle. From there, he is going to come in with his kill squad and get uh, the couple more air defenses, I believe. Let's see here what he does. Uh, comes in from the top. Oh, I remember this one. This one is nice. He comes in on the top with just his queen. That's what I told you about. You guys had several bases like this to where the king and queen and some defenses are separate. Uh, then the air defenses, the giant bombs, all of that stuff. This one actually had the CC right there handy. Uh, so as it lures out, he drops a rage and a poison uh, for his little... Queen and, and Queen Walk there takes out the dragon, takes out as soon as that goes down, takes out the enemy queen, and then steps forward and takes out the enemy king and starts working on those Teslas and Archer Towers and all that good stuff. Just gets a huge, huge value uh, for that Queen Walk up top. Then he's going to come in with his king on the bottom here. I can't remember exactly where. We'll see in just a moment. Uh, still letting that Queen Walk develop, let her take out some more of those defenses. He goes ahead and use another uh, Archer Tower, excuse me, another. Um, Rage while that Archer Tower was targeting her with the Tesla, and then a few wall breakers that actually do not quite get the wall opened up. Has to send in another one, I think. Uh, maybe the Queen actually walks on this. He messed up the wall breakers there, but still gets the job done. Uh, where's the King coming on this? I'm just trying to remember where he sends this King at. He's already got the Lava Hounds and Balloons going in, though, on the bottom side here. You can get to those air defenses so, so quickly, though. It's not that big a deal. You see, right there, as soon as that Lava Hound busts, uh, the, the air defense goes down. Now he's got two Lava Hounds coming in on this one, and the Queen is going to continue her walk down around and get to that that third and last air defense, however you want to look at it. Uh, two Lava Hounds on top, of that, um, on top of that air defense on the bottom. The balloons are struggling a little bit against the uh, force of those air sweepers to get on top of it, but as soon as they do, one bomb drop, it's done. Uh, they, they're going to have to deal with these these wizard towers while the sweepers are still pushing them back, uh, but the King and Queen working their way around. Still has four loons in the bag. Uh, and this base is pretty much in trouble at this point. Uh, he sends those loons in up top, but they actually get roasted. I think some, yeah, right, those bombs popping. Uh, just all kinds of air traps up top there. I guess them uh, hoping that someone would try a suicide dragon on this base. Doesn't happen, though. Uh, does take out those balloons, but he has plenty coming from the bottom up uh, with a, a lava hound out in front doing some tanking. Has pups working on the bottom. King and queen are still up. Uh, just a beautiful attack by Cheatham. He always brings uh, very inventive, uh, fun attacks to watch. So good job, man. All right, moving on, moving on. We're going to check out Barnacy taking on number 36. So we're going to drop down here a little bit, look at some lower level hero action for you guys. We got a few more to look at. Again, a Zap Quake, uh, doing it with Golaloon. Love it. Uh, this one was pretty straightforward. I like this attack because it was just Zap Quake 1, take out uh, another one with a queen and with your kill squad, and uh, then queen walk uh, on like another, another one. So I really like this attack. Uh, coming at the top there, just pushing that queen into that little... He wants her to go into that little compartment right there. He doesn't want her to walk around to the north, so he drops that minion up there. Uh, but he wants her in there to take out this air defense that obviously she can reach. So she's working forward, grabbing that archer tower and then that uh, storage. And then from there, the air defense is not far behind. Uh, draws and drops the rage down. Then the wall breakers to let her go in the bottom if she wants to. Right there, she's going to grab that air defense. Wall breakers letting in are going to let her get into that second AD. So get trying to get two ADs. Uh, with his Queen Walk, which is huge value when you're doing a Go Loon attack, especially when you have an, a Zap Quake queued up for the uh, for another one, and then you have a Kill Squad right here with his King and this Golem for a fourth one if he can get in there and get it done. You see the Queen's just going to have to work her way up to it, but she's going towards that air defense. It's going to happen. Uh, Wizards creating the funnel here at the bottom. The King is engaged on that, uh, on that Golem already, but here come the Wall Breakers opening everything up, and then the King, the attacking King comes in takes him out, and then works right into that queen, takes her out. Golem still doing some taking out front. You see the queen walking over, uh, dealing with the CC troops right now, so that's good. Uh, the Lava Hound over there, you know, the air defense is dead. That's all that matters. And then as soon as he uses this king's ability right there, boom, boom, uh, air defense is going down. Zap quakes the last one, so it took his time, took a little bit of time, 
uh, but gets all four air defenses with his queen and his kill squad and the zap quake. Now it's just about sending in the balloons. He does have the one lava hound that can just sort of tank for him, but 22 balloons at this point in the base, over 50% of the base taken care of, and probably at least that much of the defense is probably more of the defense is taken care of, and he's got 22 balloons. So I think everyone knows what's coming. Uh, sends that lava hound out front, just a, a hay spell for those balloons, start moving their way through. Uh, letting that Lava Hound tank for what it will, but really, if he didn't have the Lava Hound, it would not matter. Uh, that many balloons for this few defenses, he could have just swarmed it. Uh, so the Lava Hound's just staying out front and doing some tanking, but the balloons are the story here. Look how quickly those remaining defenses disappear. Uh, everything is getting targeted, going down. Multiple defenses at once going down here. Last thing is going to be that cannon. It can't do a thing. Four balloons in the bag. I mean, seriously. Very, very nice attack, dude. Very, very nice. All right, moving on. A couple more, and we'll be done. Uh, Rico, two five. Is that Rico two? Or excuse me, Rice, not Rico. Couldn't read. Rice two five six. Doing it with a go ho, and doing it with uh, seventeen twenty heroes. Not bad at all. Coming at it from the bottom here. I really like this one because look what uh, Rice does. Sends in. He has the four healers, and I thought, okay, he's going to do a queen walk, but he doesn't. He sends in the golem and two healers, and the golem and two healers, and absolutely. Keeps those golems almost full life and completely protects everything else that's moving forward here. The queen's protected. The king, his king is protected as he starts moving forward in just a moment. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when he gets to the core of the base. He's doing a double jump attack. When he gets to the core of this base, everything is basically full life. I mean, his hero, his heroes, uh, his golems are still basically full life when they get there. Uh, I thought this was really, really nice. As they start joining up here, uh, they're getting the benefit of all four healers targeting them. And again, they're doing all of the tanking right there, just just smoking everything. King's moving forward, Queen's moving forward, and then when he hits that rage button, boom, uh, they just clear everything in their way out. And plus those healers get to just zoop, heal everything right back up. Uh, so I think this was a really, really good plan and nice attack there. Most times people use it on the heroes, uh, but they are effective using it on those golems. And you see the hogs coming in from the side here. Just getting that flank and working their way forward. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at that. The healers, the heroes are full health. The golems are very high health. I mean, they're not even busting into golemites yet, and they're still moving forward. They still have that jump spell to deal with. Uh, right there, a couple, little bit of bacon, but he did uh, the, the wise thing. He just sent a small group of hogs in there to get in there and trigger that. Uh, and then from there, he's going to redeploy his main force of hogs, 13 hogs left, with a heal. In just a moment, right there is the most important thing. Uh, use that king's ability, those barbarian spawn, and boom, all four giant bombs are gone at this point. He's got 13 hogs left and not that many defenses. He can just move his way through, uh, take out, drop some nice heal right there in the last spot where he really need it as the uh, kill squad's on the other side. Uh, and still deploying hogs at this point. I mean, just just smash this base. I love that kill squad. Again, look how high health. His, his healers are dead now, but look at his golems have still not busted in the golem. They've been tanking this whole time. The king, queen, a uh, huge value for that. Queen's still full health. Just a just a beautiful attack. We'll fast forward as they run around, get the cleanup, but one of my favorites uh, for the whole war, definitely. I, I just, you know, something different. That's what I like to see. Something different. All right, and the last one we're going to look at is a guy that before he went on this attack dedicated it to me, ASDF, on their number 50, doing it with his 15-14 heroes. Uh, a go Vaho, love it. And he called it, got the three-star, and again, had to show it. I mean, how can I not show an attack that a guy dedicated to me when he gets the three-star? So here you go, ASDF. Very nice attack. And he actually got the six-star ore, so good job to you on that as well. Comes in with a, a giant and a couple of wizards and his queen, just sort of creating the funnel here. You know, when you're doing those vouchers, we've talked about it a million times, you want that nice wide funnel, real big. That way you know they're not going anywhere besides right where you want them to. A couple of hogs go in. He wants to get that CC alert out right there. And also we'll get that um, air defense taken care of. Yeah, that air defense taken care of while he's in there. So good value for those hogs. And right there, oh, why not get a double bomb set out of those two hogs as well? So two hogs, a defense, a double bomb set, and the CC alert out. Beautiful. Uh, here come the Valks. You see the CC troops uh, all going down to that poison for the most part. Uh, the CC troops coming through here, the uh, Valk's doing their thing, nice jump spell, it's going to let him right to the core, and obviously with the second jump spell, he wants to go all the way to that queen, get her taken care of, and make way for his hogs to just move through uh, without any threat, and he's got a, few, a heal for him if he needs it, does drop a heal for his Valk's there, we'll deal with that queen and deal with that massive core, which is probably smart because they're going to take care of it all, the hogs start coming in from the bottom, and they're still pretty much protected because they're of uh, that kill squad in the middle, doing a lot of tanking for them. He's outside point defense, not really doing a lot for that many hogs. Drops that heal spell down right there. 
uh, where he knows there's probably a giant bomb, which there is, kaboom, but still it's just a single. That's all he needs. Hogs get healed right back up. Look at that core still being taken care of. And I love these last three hogs on the backside here. Coming in on that Tesla, uh, just targeting it directly. And then that is pretty much that beautiful attack. Absolutely beautiful. Smashed it. Redheads, hogs, uh, you know, what more can you ask for? All right, guys, that is it for the uh, FPC Warclan side again. I could have shown you guys so many great attacks, but, I mean, I have to keep these reasonable. We are already at 25 minutes. Now, that's a long video. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back with the Kryptonian side next. Until then, Jake from One Hive, doing my best. Help you guys suck less. Thank <laughs> you.